Hi everyone, welcome to today's video. So today I'm making a highly requested video and that is how I take notes on my iPad. So I have my iPad here and I have my accessories. I'm gonna show you guys what the must-haves are for me. I absolutely love my iPad. As you know, I just got it about a month ago and I really wish I got it in the beginning of CRNA school because it would have been so useful the whole entire time. I should not have waited so long to get it. So if you're going into nursing or CRNA school or any other school, get yourself an iPad. I cannot recommend it enough. It's so convenient. It fits everywhere. You can just slip it in your bag and it's so much easier than bringing a computer around. I use a free app to take my notes, which I'll show you because I didn't want to pay for anything. And I'm not an expert on note taking or iPads. As I said, I just got this a month ago, but this is the easiest way that I found to take notes. So if you know an easier way, feel free to leave it in the comments below. And without further ado, let's get into the note taking. Before we head over to the iPad, I'm gonna show you how I make my document accessible on the iPad. So what you're gonna to have to do is turn your PowerPoint into a PDF by going to File, Export, and then making sure you're exporting the file format as a PDF. Now this is the easiest way I found for note taking on the iPad. So once you export it, I just save it to the desktop and it's a quick, pretty quick export. Then you're gonna to wanna to go open your internet and get to your Google Drive and then just pull over your PDF to your Google Drive. And this only takes about a minute to upload. And the reason I use Google Drive is because it's extremely easy to access it on your iPad once you get there. So now it's uploaded, let's head over to the iPad. Here's my iPad. I actually have the iPad Pro and it's about one or two years old. It's a little bit of an older version. We got it used and the person took really good care of it. So it was a really good deal. And as you can see, I do have the keyboard component here, which I think is extremely helpful for taking notes or working on projects when you can't take your computer with you. And then I have the stylus, which is very necessary. If you don't get anything with it, at least get the stylus because you definitely need that for note taking. Do you like our wedding picture there? The keyboard also doubles as a protective covering. Let's see if I can do this with one hand, hold on. Okay, so you can just fold the keyboard in here, fold it in one more time, and then you have a protective covering so you can just throw it in your purse or your backpack or whatever the case may be. And now we're gonna get into the note taking. So I have OneNote installed on here already. That was completely free and that's why I choose to use OneNote. And what I do to start my notes on my PowerPoint is I go to section and create new section. And since this is gonna be my basics PowerPoint, that's what I'm gonna use for this example. I'm just gonna name it basics. Then I go to untitled page and I name the PowerPoint and this is gonna be anesthesia machine. This is actually a really old PowerPoint but I figured I would use it for this example. And then I click down below on the actual document and then I'm gonna hit insert and PDF. And then as you remember, we put that PDF on my Google Drive and it actually pulls it straight up to Google Drive. So there we go. It takes a second. Okay, so now my whole PowerPoint's on here, all 79 slides, I think. I'm just gonna scroll all the way up to the top. And I'm gonna show you how I actually take my notes. So I go to draw, and then how I take notes is I click on this little black one, and I actually like the smallest size so I can write more, and I just select it in black, and then I minimize it again. And then I'm not really gonna take notes, I'm just gonna write as an example for you. So say supplemental reading only, my teacher said that's optional. So I'm just gonna write on here, optional. And then say he said that chapter three was extremely important for the test. I put it on highlighter right there and I'm just gonna highlight chapter three. And then I'm gonna go back to draw. And then I'm gonna come down here and he'll be talking about the anesthesia machine at this point. So say I don't know what anything is and he said those are the vaporizers. I'm gonna write vaporizers there and that's the CO2 absorbent. So I'm gonna write CO2 absorbent here this is just an example, ignore my handwriting. And I'm gonna scroll on down. And he's talking about this slide right now in my example and say that he said, it's really important that you know that the components can be added to older machines. So I would just, that's not really important, but if it was, I would just highlight that. And if I wanted to take more notes, I would either write them right here or on a slide that's full already, like this one, I would just, scroll out a little bit, and then I would take my notes over here. And also, if you wanna write something that's very important, you can change your color. So say I would change it to red here, and then I would star it and say, this note is important. I would write the note out, not the word important, and then I could underline it. So that's basically how I take my notes. I gave you an example of everything I do here, and obviously it would continue for the duration of the PowerPoint but it's really easy and I love it because you can upload it straight back up to Google Drive, which I'll show you right now. So you're gonna hit share, send copy a page, send with another app. 
Okay, so then all you do is hit copy to drive, save, and it saves all your notes to this so you can put it on your computer or wherever else you want. You can access it from your phone and it's super easy. So hope that was helpful. Okay, that's it for my note taking on the iPad. Like I said, I'm not an expert, but I think I found the easiest way to do it. And I really love the iPad. I said that already, but I highly recommend it. I really can't stress it enough how much easier it's made everything for me. I did buy my Muse, so I paid about half price of what I would at Best Buy. And as I learn more tips and tricks on the iPad, I'll share them with you guys. There's supposed to be a big Mac update in September, I think. So maybe there'll be some new stuff on there after that. I'm not really sure what it'll do to the iPad. Really quick, because the sun's moving a lot. I just wanted to tell you guys that I always film in natural light like up against a window so if you ever see the light changing in my videos that's why I don't have like actual lighting or anything maybe I should get it one day and I also just wanted to tell you that we are actually heading on a 12-day road trip to Canada next week so we'll be gone for a while and I will be vlogging that for you guys and in the meantime I'll be putting up videos that I've already pre-recorded and edited for you so I'll still have my weekly posts even while we're gone and then when I get back I'll edit our Canada vlog I'm really excited we're gonna drive up to Toronto and then all the way across the east side of Canada over to Nova Scotia and then back down through Maine and everything it's gonna be a really fun road trip and of course we're taking Beamer so he's gonna have a lot of fun too the only way that our trip will get canceled is if we get a foster child before that we've been waiting for the phone call as you know and we haven't got one yet so we're just waiting the reason we didn't book anywhere that we needed a flight for was because if we did get a foster child we wouldn't be able to go so we figured we'd plan a road trip because that's a lot easier to cancel if we need to anyway that's it for today thank you guys so much for watching I hope you liked this video and I hope it helped you in some way as always, have a great week and I will see you next week.